We are going all the way back to May 22nd, 1849 for this event in history. At the time, future U.S. President Abraham Lincoln was granted a patent for a flotation system for lifting river boats stuck on sandbars. Here's what it looked like. The Smithsonian has the original prototype and replica. The museum says Lincoln got this idea from his time ferrying people and produce on the Mississippi River and the Great Lakes. To this day, he is the only U.S. president to have a patent. Now, boats are a part of Maine's identity. It comes as no surprise that many Mainers enjoy boating, no matter what the vessel itself might look like. Maine Floats is a company out of Winthrop and is in the process of patenting its floating picnic table boat. Rosalind Flaherty first told us about this creation back in 2021. So what's kind of been the reaction um, for people seeing this floating by? Um, Mostly people have been really excited, really intrigued by it. If you've been on Wilson Pond in Winthrop the past two years, there's five speeds. You may have noticed this. So it's been a great way to make neighbors. Lon Cameron has built what he likes to call a motorized floating picnic table. I took to the internet to find out ways that people were creatively using dock float boxes. Um, for projects and I saw several picnic table options. He decided to engineer his own. And we used it for two years and just fell in love with it and everybody who came over just really enjoyed the electric motor assembly that we put on it. Thanks to my wife Tyler's dad who gave us his old trolling motor. With a few tweaks along the way. To maximize the materials so that we don't have a lot of excess in the build and also to just make it more user friendly. Those tweaks have led him to start selling them. He sold three already. I think it's basically just going to be a pre-order situation where people put a $500 deposit down. It'll be $2,200 for a new table. Cameron says six people can fit on here and says it'll take him about two weeks to build. And it comes with everything, a solar lit umbrella, um, the motor assembly, a deep cycle battery, a maintainer, your cup holders, your centerboard, everything. You could be out here all day. Yeah, it's a pretty easy way to burn some time. Burning some time cruising around a lake on a piece of furniture usually meant to stay in one place. In Winthrop, Rosalind Flaherty, New Center, Maine. Few updates to this story. The cheapest boat now costs a little more than what it did nearly two years ago. Main float has two different models, an eight foot and a 12 foot boat. We did ask them where things stand in the patent process, but have not heard back. Love the idea of it. Of course, creating new boat technology is nothing new in Maine. You might remember back in 2019, the University of Maine became home to the Guinness World Record for the largest 3D printed boat. The boat is named Three Deer Ago after the state of Maine's motto, Deer Ago, and costs about half as much as one that's made of steel. Another example of Maine leading the way when it comes to our boats.